Oh God. Man, these batteries are massive. Oh yeah. Hey guys, Mike Builds, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be testing and taking a look at this Red Odeo, Redudu. I believe it's pronounced Red Odeo. This is a 12 volt, 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This thing's absolutely massive, 300 amp hour. Here it is compared to a regular 100 amp hour battery. It is about 19 and a half inches long, nine and a quarter inches wide, and nine and a quarter inches tall. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this because my scale's dead, but I'm gonna quickly put it down and it'll display really fast. 63 pounds i saw so yeah 63 pounds in the box you get your terminal lugs with caps you also get a nice little packet of stuff it tells you about long-term storage don't flip it upside down don't submerge it in water do not disassemble we're unfortunately definitely going to do that some stickers that's kind of cool and according to this it is a 200 amp bms we will definitely be testing that the more quick specs for you guys it says it's maximum continuous discharge current is 200 amps but we can do 400 amps for five seconds. So we will absolutely pull more than 200 amps out of this and see if we can do it for more than five seconds or at least five seconds. Talks to you about charging, battery charging, using a generator or an alternator, charge curves, what size wiring you should use for how many amps, how to connect them, and just a bunch of other good information. I would definitely skim over this. I absolutely love these big form factor 12 volt batteries because you get so much capacity, you get so much power packed into something this small and all you have to do is make one connection to your inverter or one connection to your charge controller and you're already ready to use the battery. You don't gotta worry about paralleling anything to get the capacity you want. So this thing's absolutely massive. I love the color scheme. Red Odeo did a really good job on that. I've seen these batteries a lot and I've had a lot of people ask me to review one. So I finally ended up getting one. And so far I really like how the build quality looks from the outside. Obviously we're gonna jump right into this thing. We're gonna fully charge it, fully discharge it, see how many amp hours we get out of it. We're gonna do a max load discharge test with a big inverter, put a bunch of load on this thing, see if we can get 200 amps, see if it'll go over 200 amps. Then we're gonna actually take this thing apart. We're gonna take a look at the cells inside, try to get the brand of the cells, take a really good look at the BMS and just kind of judge the overall build quality and see what you're getting for your money. At the time of making this video, this battery is available right now on Amazon for $512. And that's really it guys. We're just gonna see if we get $500 worth of value out of this thing and see how it holds up with our testing. So I'm gonna go ahead and fully charge this thing so we can start the discharge test. And here's kind of a good panning shot of the whole battery. 3,800 watt hours. That is a lot of energy. What the backside looks like. Younger, bolder, stronger, nice. I'm really excited to try this thing out. It looks really, really nice. I love the gray. In order to charge this big old behemoth, we're gonna use my new 30 amp charger that I just made a video on. Go check that out if you guys haven't. That way it won't take days to charge this thing. And at 30 amps, this thing will still take 10 hours to fully charge if it was fully empty. Of course, it probably has about 50% left, so this will take a few hours. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, guys, the battery has been fully charged. We're gonna go ahead and start our capacity test. I went ahead and reset our capacity meter right here. I set it to 300 amp hours. The battery is fully charged. Set that to 100. Right here is gonna be the accumulated amp hours once we're completed with the test. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to run a 0.2C rate. So at 300 amp hours, 0.2C would be 60 amps. Got it to about 61. That's about as close as I could get without overshooting too much. We're gonna let this thing fully discharge. See you guys in about five hours. We'll see what the number is. All right, guys, we just concluded the capacity test on this 300 amp hour battery. The inverter just went into low voltage protection mode and we got 301 amp hours on the dot. So that is technically a pass for this battery. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fully recharge the battery so we can do a high current discharge test and see if we can get the high current protection to trip on this thing. We're gonna end up putting probably two 1500 watt space heaters on this thing. The most I'm gonna be able to pull on my setup is close to 300 amps. So we're gonna see what it can do. We have our max power discharge test set up right now. So basically we're gonna see how many amps we can pull out of this battery. With this setup right here, I'm able to pull close to 300 amps. So we will be able to see if the battery can do close to 300 amps and then we'll also sustain that. This battery is equipped with a 200 amp continuous BMS. We will see if it'll do 200 and then even over that and we'll see how long it runs. Make sure it doesn't cut off prematurely. All right, so here we go. We're gonna kick the inverter on. Got our little shunt. All right, first space heater. That's one space heater. I'm going to kick on the second one. All right, the second space heater are almost to 250 amps. There we go, we're just over that. Battery seems to be holding up just fine. We're gonna give that a minute to make sure it doesn't shut off. That's crazy guys. We're getting over 3,300 watts out of this battery. That's insane. We're actually almost maxing out the inverter. All right, now I'm gonna kick on the heat gun. It's over 300 amps guys. 
pretty crazy. Battery is not shutting off. Well, there you have it, guys. This thing can do over 300 amps. It seems to be supporting it just fine. No signs of it shutting off. Nothing's getting hot. Heaters are putting out some heat. So that's pretty good. This thing can put out a ton of power. Unfortunately, I really can't pull more than that because I just don't have a big enough load. So if anyone out there knows how many amps you can pull out of this before the high current protection kicks on, let me know in the comments if it even does because a lot of batteries really don't from what I've noticed. 300 amps, that's a ton of power. All right, I'm gonna very carefully open this thing up so we can take a good look at the build quality and all the goodies on the inside. I don't wanna ruin this battery though, it's very nice. Oh yeah, there we go. All right guys, we're able to get the cover off this. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. All right, this is the first look inside the Redoio 300 amp hour 12 volt battery. The positive conductors, it feels like there's two wires in there in each of these, so there's four total going to your main positive. Your main negative is gonna have six conductors, 10 gauge wires, so you have six of those going to your main negative. Terminals look really nice and heat shrinked, love to see that. Same with the negative, and they even put a little bit of goop on there. Here's kind of a close-up of the BMS. It's their own in-house BMS, so that's cool. They actually do their own BMSs. There's a real good shot of that. It's actually attached to the battery because a lot of these are just kind of flopping around. Looks like we got nice laser welded cells with a little hump for expansion in the middle. This is actually a 4S 2P battery. So if you look, there's actually eight cells inside this battery pack. So they have two in parallel and then four groups of parallel in series to give you the 12 volts. This is gonna be your balance harness right here. A little bit of goop to help hold that on. These wires are kind of just chilling here, but that's okay, I guess. They have them zip tied up here. I really like the battery's quality so far. It looks really good. And also another thing I noticed, if you guys look really closely, is there's actually a metal frame inside of this that is being used to actually mechanically compress the cells. None of that cheap plastic strapping or reinforced tape. They have a metal frame on this, which the eco-worthy batteries also have, and I really like to see that, because in my opinion, that'll hold up the best over time, as well as if you have this battery being moved around a lot. So I'm gonna try to pull this thing out of the case so we can take a better look at it, and as well as try to identify the brand and the type of cells that they're actually using. Okay, I was not able to get the whole pack out because they have a ton of glue holding the pack into the case, which kind of sucks because we can't really get a better look at it, but I also really like as far as a build quality because the battery is going to be very secure in the case. It's not gonna be flying around, coming loose or anything crazy. There's a closer look at the QR code. For those who are interested. And I use a QR code checker on my phone. And it says these are Goshen brand cells, 3.2 volts. They were made in June of 2023. But the only weird thing I'm seeing is it's saying these are 102 amp hour cells. But I really doubt that 102 amp hour cells rated would be able to pull 150 amp hours each because this battery actually pulled 300 amp hours. These things would have to be at least 150 amp hours each. So that also could be wrong, who knows. But they appear to be Goshen brand cells. Maybe if you guys can look at the QR code a little bit better. Some of y'all at home might be able to tell me what y'all think. There is no low temp discharge protection on this battery, but there is a thermistor or a thermal fuse right here. So that will actually turn the battery off if the battery gets too hot. I'm gonna try and loosen the BMS so we can get a look at the other side of that. It looks like they just have it zip tied to the metal frame, but to be fair, it's very well zip tied. I don't normally like that, but it seems like it's holding it just fine. Actually, no, it's also glued, not just zip tied. Don't wanna break nothing. Don't think I can bend this too far because the thermistor thing's right here. But there's nothing really to see on the back. There is another there is another metal heat sink just like this on the other side. It's really hard to show you guys. You can kind of see it right here. So there's a heat sink, two boards, and another heat sink kind of sandwich all in there. And then you have one of those fiberglass boards behind that. And that's just kind of being secured in there with those zip ties. They sit in these little notches right here on the metal frame. Kind of a better look at the metal frame, like I said before. All the cells seem flat. I don't see no bulges like in the other 300 amp hour battery that we reviewed. But that's really it guys, there's really not much more to see. I'm gonna to try to put all this back together as cleanly as possible. Also something interesting, this BMS is very heavy duty. And if you guys look, 
There's actually five pads to mount the negative wires on each side. I actually know there's 10 because there's two separate boards. So I think this BMS is actually really, really heavy duty because you have two separate boards, two sets of soldering pads to put wires on. So I don't think this is gonna be the wink link in this battery. It says right here rated for 200 amps. I've always wondered too if there's a way to program some of these BMSs, but not really sure about that. But there's the specs on that. Maybe you guys can look at the model number and see if you guys can figure out. But like I said before, I think it's labeled as their label. So this might be their own in-house design. Overall guys, I'm very pleased with the build quality of this thing. This is the second battery I've done that had a metal frame. I love to see that. It passed our capacity test. It pulled over 300 amps for the discharge. That's a little bit on the high end. I do wish that the disconnect feature maybe was set to at least 300 amps, but that's may not matter. As long as you run a fuse on your system, it really doesn't matter. They rate this at 200 amps. The BMS is rated at 200 amps. So as long as you're able to meet that rating, I think you're good. I double checked on their website. They do offer five-year warranties on their batteries, kind of like all the other manufacturers. I've obviously never used their customer service, so I can't vouch for how good that would be at the time that you need to use it. At the time of recording, this battery goes for about $500. I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to go check it out. But overall, I'm really happy with this thing. There are a ton of different battery brands on the market, but Redoio or Redoodoo, however you want to say it, has actually been around for quite a while. I've seen a bunch of videos on these batteries and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to test one. Hopefully in the future, we can also test maybe one of their smaller 100 amp hour batteries, but these big 300 amp hour batteries are starting to become more and more popular. I'm starting to see a lot more different brands offer 300 amp hour batteries. And personally, I really like that just because you get so much capacity and such a small package. You make one connection, to your inverter, your charge controller, or whatever setup you're using and you're good to go. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys are using these, what kind of look have y'all had with them? Any good luck, any bad luck? Let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear about it. We are gonna be using this battery in another future video where we're gonna be building a bigger, more powerful 12 volt solar power system because I think a lot of people would like to see that. I've had a couple people comment and ask me how to hook it up. So we're gonna be doing that with this exact battery just because I really like this. I think this is gonna be my new go to 12 volt big capacity battery for future projects going here forward. So anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think about this thing and I will see y'all in the next one.